um, and welcome to a week in my life. Nothing like your smile in the morning. This is my first vlog ever, so I'll do a little intro. My name is Ashley. I'm 24 years old. I live in New York City. I moved here about a year and a half ago um, to go to med school. I'm currently in my second, going on to my third year. I'm on my clinical year, in the hospital doing my rotation since January. Um, and I'm about, I'm almost halfway through, which is crazy. This week, you'll see me start a new rotation. Um, today is Sunday, so I'm mainly just going to be, you know, cleaning, getting some groceries, getting my life back together. I get brunch with a friend from college, and then um, I might get dinner with some med school classmates after studying. And then tomorrow, I start my new rotation pediatrics. A little note about why I'm even making this vlog. I realized that I had been watching a lot of New York City YouTubers and vloggers and I was watching them, you know, go downtown and go shopping and, you know, get their little matcha lattes walking around Soho and I, I love doing that um, and I used to do it a lot uh, last year but Ever since I started my clinical year, I feel like I've just been a lot busier but don't have as much time to do like the fun, like New York City girly things, you know? And I was like, why am I, like, I live in New York City, like why am I watching all of these people like live life through a screen when I also live here and like live a life? Yeah, my life might not be as glamorous, but I think it's a different version of living in New York City. Um, and I, I want to show that, I guess. That's that's kind of why I started this, and I don't know if I'm going to keep it up because life is busy. But uh, follow me for a week in my life. I hope you enjoy. Nothing like your smile in the morning. Following the linings on your cheeks. Cause baby in your absence life is boring So I'll never leave mm -hmm. It's easier to It's just orientation today, so we're not really going to be doing any clinical work. Um, orientation starts at 9, so I'm heading out soon because it's 8.30. Children's Hospital is a really short walk away, and um, I'm just going to drink some coffee and have some breakfast before. I honestly didn't sleep very well last night. I don't know. I feel like I, I don't sleep very well in New York. I think I'm just like always stressed um, and my eye is swollen. I don't know if you can tell, but great start to the rotation. I'm eating these mush coconut coffee, coffee coconut oats. Um, they're literally pre-made overnight oats, which is like embarrassing because like overnight oats are so easy to make. Um, but they are very easy and they're tasty and they feel nutritious. Um, you also saw me make some coffee. I have an espresso, bad for my birthday last year. It's awesome. Coffee is very important. Oh, I also, I guess I'll do a fit check. Um, my friend and I weren't really sure what the vibe of today was just cause it's orientation and half of it is virtual. Um, so I'm trying to do business casual, honestly, like my fits and fashion are not very good, but I have like this white sweater, which is honestly very casual. And then these black pants, which I think are from Uniqlo. I love these pants so much. They look like business casual pants, but they actually feel like leggings, so. 
I ran into some classmates. This is Anna. <laughs> this is Mitch. How are we feeling about the first new rotation after vacation? Could not be happier. <laughs> what about you? New rotation. Very excited. Very excited. Very excited. <laughs> we love the kids. We love we love the the kids. kids. For the kids. service was super packed like all of our beds were full and I think because it was like mine and Mitch's first day they didn't really have time to teach us anything and we really couldn't be helpful because we didn't know anything yet so they just sent us home early um, I don't really mind we both picked up one patient so I worked out and then I went to the Upper West Side and I'm gonna go study in a coffee shop with my friend and I'm also gonna read up on my patient She's a baby with like a very complicated um, congenital heart defect, so I'm gonna look that up and look up her surgical course. Yeah. Um, day two on Pete's cards. It was a good day. I presented on my patient um, and they said I did a good job in describing the murmur. It was very cool. I could very much hear the murmur. In the afternoon, me and Mitch just played with this baby um, for like an hour and a half and she was so cute and it was just really fun and I'm picking up another patient um, to present tomorrow who is very complicated arrived in the ED and has just a bunch of medical problems also like might be worked up for a transplant so I have to do a lot of reading tonight because um, I want to do a good job preparing for this patient because they're new um, and like have a lot of active medical problems but I don't know I've been on like my healthy grind since Pete started and it's really only been three days but I was calling my friend Andrew after I got home and then I kind of like lost my motivation to go to the gym. I was like, I still want to move because I don't want to like lose my progress and just give up because that's kind of what happens every rotation. So I decided since it's a beautiful day, I'm just going to walk to Target. Definitely better motivation than just walking, but I'm going to call my sister and yeah, I'm walking with an exercise band, which looks kind of stupid, but I don't know, I just want to work more, you know? All right, see ya.
It's so gloomy today, you can't even see the bridge from my window. Usually it's right here. Happy Friday! Um, going to the hospital for sign out at 7, which is when the night team signs out to the day team and tells them about how each patient on the floor is doing, overnight events, and any new patients. Um, Friday, there's no free lunch, so I brought mine. This morning was one of those mornings when you wake up and you immediately start thinking about sleeping <laughs> um, again. But I think the mornings are just rough. Honestly, once I get to the hospital, they love it a lot. Okay, this one kind of is Like who was waiting for me to walk to the hospital together? <laughs> I'm by, everyone knows the rules. Pizza review, hospital cafeteria pizza. Right. Four. Four. I go the six. Six. A little more generous, yeah. You can get a one dollar pizza on any street in New York. That's probably twice as good. Actually, you can't get one dollar pizza anymore. It's growing oh. in price. That's right, inflation. Inflation. <laughs> that. They're more expensive than subway tickets now. <laughs> it's terrible. I know. I really liked it. Um, it was a tiring week and a week filled with a lot of unknowns, but it was so fun. Like, patients were extremely complicated. Many of them had congenital heart conditions, um, but it was just really interesting to learn. And, and now I'm getting dinner with some of my friends, or just drinks, I guess, Yeah. Um, to celebrate being one week done. <laughs> first week. It was really, really fun. It was nice to hang out with my classmates outside the hospital. But I just wanted to come on here and kind of sign out on this week. Thank you for following along if there are any of you out there. I would really like to continue doing this. I thought it was super fun and I think it's gonna be like a good way for me to remember this year because this is such like a monumental important year. Thank you so much for following along. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what else you would like to see. This was really fun. Yeah, good night.